Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's Kush back at again with another Giants video. Real quick, I do want to say the full six round mock draft for the New York Giants 1.0 that I made and six rounds instead of seven because we don't have a seventh round pick. It's already up on the channel for members. So if you guys haven't checked that out, go and check that out. I plan to have it up for regular viewers on Friday, but if every single member has already seen it by like say tomorrow, I'd maybe just put it out tomorrow, but scheduled for the regular guys on Friday. Just wanna get that out there. That being said, let's get into the video. Saquon Barkley and his road to recovery. I first made a, you know, kind of a similar video about this sometime around two months ago, talking about how Saquon is already starting, you know, to sort of try and come back from this injury, starting on his road to recovery. You know, he was taking advice from Adrian Peterson, who of course went through a similar ACL tear, and basically going about his, uh, you know, post-surgery moves and whatnot. And I mentioned in that video, this was two months ago, that somebody that Saquon could potentially link up with to train in the off season because this person also suffered an ACL tear, and because it's well known that Saquon and the other player are pretty good friends in real life is former Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. And that's exactly what's happening right now. This is from our favorite ESPN reporter, Jordan Renan um, of ESPN. And he basically says that, well, that's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna kinda read off a quote here from the article. This is from Saquon. It says, the only thing I do know that I have planned for sure, I'm definitely gonna link up with Odell. Obviously, Odell tore his knee a little too. I think we both just need being there. We're really good friends. Competing with each other and pushing each other will also be good too. That's the only thing I know for certain that I will do. Everything else is up in the air. And like I said, this is this is known fact. Like this is not a secret. Ever since Saquon came into the NFL back in 2018 when Odell was still with the Giants, Odell was his mentor. Odell was his big brother figure. Odell was the dude that showed Saquon the ropes of how to be, you know, an NFL player, you know, when it comes to the media and stuff like that. Basically anything. Like I said, he was his mentor on and off the field. And of course, as a giant, as as a, at the time, you know, he was a giant. He was he was one of the faces of the franchise. Definitely taught Saquon how to be the face of the New York Giants. Now Saquon, you know, this this is where it gets a little controversial. Saquon, of course, in my opinion, does a little bit better job of being that face, but they they've been bros for years now. And I just want to say and like I said, I brought this up two months ago. I just want to say, any Giants fan that's angry about this or for some reason just has some type of weird feeling about it, like, don't. There's just two really good friends, two of the best football players in the world, linking up and, you know, recovering together. That's what it is. It's it's always going to be good to have more than one, you know, health team there, you know, more than one doctors, or maybe they do have the same doctor, who knows, more than one physician and more than one advisors, whatever the case is, on the job to help them recover from their ACLs here. But Saquon kind of has a um, little bit of another explanation as well as to, you know, just just being there with somebody else that's going through the same injury, being there with somebody else that's going through the same recovery. It's almost, you know, therapeutic in a way you got to think. And it, almost, it makes the process a little bit easier. Maybe it even makes it a little faster. Who knows? But another quote from Saquon from that uh, article says that every year they always link up him and Odell at some point somewhere. They're definitely going to find a way to link up this year. Obviously, he would love to to any of the guys going through this injury, whether it's Joe Burrow, Devin Bush, Bud Dupree. There's always a couple guys, any guy. I think it would be really dope if they could all link up and listen there's one name there that stands out to me man bud dupree saquon listen Sa saquon saquon Sa saquon barkley if this man somehow manages to train with bud dupree in the off season and i know bud dupree is going to be coming off of acl tear but guys we need an edge rusher and let's be honest with each other the edge rushing free agency class 
because Bud Dupree went down, because he was really the only realistic target for the Giants, is not that good. And you know, the edge rushing draft class ain't that good either. If Saquon could somehow, someway recruit Bud Dupree through him training together with Bud Dupree, yo, that would be so amazing. <laughs> yo, Sa Saquon will be doing his job as, you know, like a Giants ambassador. We already know Logan Ryan's out here. You know, Logan Ryan's trying to get guys to come to the Giants, you know, whether it's former Patriots, former Titans, whatever the case is. Ryan has his connections. Saquon definitely has his connections. If we could get Bud Dupree, and it might be on a cheaper contract because of the fact that he's coming off an ACL tear, even if it's for like one year, even if it's like a one year deal, you know what I'm saying? One year, like 16, 17 mil or something. I would take that. I would 100% take that. Now, of course, that is what, you know, we could keep most of the original defense together, but you got to be thinking Saquon is definitely playing a little bit of chess here, not just checkers. You know, at least that that's what comes to my mind. And then, of course, going back to the direct, you know, the direct pros of training with somebody else that kind of faced the same injury. This is what Saquon had to say about that. It's not more of like comparing to each other because everyone injuries, they think they may have this or that is different. So it's not really more of comparing or competing with each other. What I mean by competing, like competing within ourselves and making sure that we're pushing each other to get the best out of each other 100% man you're going up with another one of the best athletes in the game you guys are going to make sure that you're going at 110% each time you're out there on the field and then the last two things I'll take from this article are the last two Saquon quotes he says we definitely talk and this is obviously on his relationship with Odell whether it is on the phone or playing Call of Duty obviously probably played a lot more of that than I would have liked to this year but it was weird I'm literally rehabbing I remember I'm rehabbing I'm looking up I'm watching I see a clip and I see Odell hurt uh, that definitely hurt me but obviously we both wouldn't want to go through this i guess you would say but it's i think it's very important that since we're really close and we know each other so well and we're two competitors and i think we could really help each other i do think it's really important to link up but at the same time we both have to come in with the mindset of getting one percent better each day that's what we have to get from each other any way you can get it and now in my opinion what i'm taking from that last part of the quote getting one percent better each day is you don't want to strain yourself too much obviously you want to do the best you can, but there's going to be some days where there's limitations and you never want to strain that ACL, possibly risk a re-injury or an injury on, you know, say the other leg because of how much strain you might be putting on that other leg, whatever the case is. You always want to be careful with how you go about it, but um, I see this as a completely good thing. I think any and every Giants fan should. He's He is getting himself ready for this upcoming season and he's doing the best he can to get himself ready. I really do think... This has the possibility of being an Adrian Peterson-like comeback. I mean, I, I even pointed out to the more recent example, Dalvin Cook's comeback was one of the best in the NFL. Even more recent with his ACL injury, he came back. He was one of the best running backs in the NFL. You just hope that the re-injury doesn't happen, right? And and you add into the fact that if somehow, some way, he gets to train with Bud Dupree, I'm not saying it will happen. But there's a chance Saquon's over there, you know, talking to them every now and then when they're on the sideline, which are like, yo, you know what I'm saying? The Giants need a, we need an edge rusher right now. Like, hey, bud, you know, maybe, you know, come to the Giants, prove yourself. Look at what Leonard Williams did, bro. Look, look at what Leo did. He came, he had 11 and a half sacks. Imagine what you and Leo could do together. Like, yo, I'm just saying, I'm just putting that idea out there. Because Saquon mentioned it, not me. Saquon said, hey, if he could train with Bud Dupree, that would be pretty, that would be pretty great. I'm, I'm just throwing that out there, man. But... Uh, I just like this news because as you guys know, I'm a huge Saquon Barkley fan and I really want him to come back and prove everybody wrong. Prove everybody that's saying, you know, he's like a one year wonder wrong. And yes, those people exist. Prove everybody that's saying he's injury prone after just, you know, he's only three years into his career, y'all. And like, it is two back to back injuries, but it's not like his offensive line was doing him favors. This man, what, what's the thing we say about Saquon Barkley the most? He gets tackled in the backfield all the time. When that happens, you're probably going to get injured. You know what I'm saying? So I just hope he comes back. You know, Adrian Peterson type comeback, you know, like 1,200 plus rushing yards, just amazes everybody. Comeback player of the year. One of those running backs that just helps carry his team, you know, to the playoffs, man. But that's what I got for you all today. Let me know what you all think. Put your thoughts down below, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.